Hey there gamers. Today I'm going to show you some free software that allows you to take complete control over the TDP settings on your MSI Claw 8. This will also work for a, a Claw 7 AI um, and probably the original Claw as well. By default, MSI have only pro provided three uh, TDP settings when you go into manual mode. Ideally, I would have liked to have a slider that where you can pick any setting between the 8 uh, to 30 watts. But what you'll find is that in 17 watt mode, there are some games that don't perform very well. I'll show you one of those in a minute. And this shows up in, in sort of like frame pacing issues. So the best description I can think of is rubber banding where you just sort of see the character slow down and then just it seems to catch up with itself again, goes to normal speed and then slows down again. And this is just an indication that this game isn't getting enough TDP, um, enough power to play smoothly. So the game I'm going to show, I already did a video of this at 30 watts and I'm using the same settings and I'll show you what happens uh, when you uh, playing at 17 watts. Okay, so let's just run. So you can see there, the character sort of slows down and then goes up to normal speed. It's probably more evident if I go on the bike and ride around a bit. Because you also hear the bike engine. Hold on. Yeah, so you can see it's, hopefully you can see it's not a constant frame pace, it's sort of slowing down and speeding up to normal speed again. So this isn't about the Days Gone game as such, so I'll just take it back. As you can see in the top right hand corner, it was around 17 to 18 watts the entire time. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is start up the software that I'm going to recommend. I go to my downloads folder and it's called Handheld Hardware Tools. And I'll show how to install it, it's not difficult, but essentially I'm just going to start up the application. And we'll say yes here. And you'll see we've got this um, home page here. Now, at the moment, I've set it so that um, the default startup, uh, default TDP is 20 watts, which works perfectly uh, for this game. Now, what you need to do is, if you're setting a power between 17 watts and 30, you'll need to move manual over to 30. But you'll see um, in the top right display, that it's it goes down to 20 watts and kind of stays there. So let me dismiss this now and go back into Days Gone. So if I now resume, so you can see it's pegged at 20 watts. If I do a little run, like I was doing earlier, you know, there was a little bit of slowdown, but it's a lot sm smoother. But you'll see when I go out into the open world, it's um, perfectly fine. Now at uh, 20 watts, I'd probably drop these settings a little bit, but it is still playable and feels really smooth. Oh, again, I'll just do the similar route to er earlier. So we're mid to high 30s. You'll notice the frame pacing is a lot better. 
and the game is, is definitely playable here. So I can just spin round to make a lot of noise and drive back. So if you, if you find that you're getting any stutter, you can just up the TDP, one TDP at a time until you get smooth gameplay. But as you can see, I've got 20 watts, a total power of around 29 watts, to so say 30 watts. So we're looking at two, two and a half hours of gameplay compared to about one hour 40 if we're running at 30 watt mode. Okay, so let's leave that there and I'll show you where to get the software. So this is the GitHub page. I'm not sure how clear it is, but don't worry, I will put the link to this down in uh, the description of the video. Um, it's github.com project-sbc handheld-hardware-tools slash releases. Um, and it will bring you to this page. So if we take the most recent uh, release and click on assets, this will give us three files. So we want to download the zip file. So let me turn off um, the overlay now, just so that we can see that. So we can see that's downloading. Well, hopefully we can see that's downloading. So I'm going to open the file location. Sorry, I opened the file, but if we go to downloads, what you'll notice is you'll have a, a zip folder and all you need to do is go into that. Hold on, let's just tap. Uh, if you select it and then say extract all, and you can basically say where it will be extracted to. So I've already done that. And the folder is here. And when you open that, you can just um, pick up handheld hardware tools. The app, look for the application. Just start that up. If you prefer, you can just sort of like have it start up. If I go into the software again, you can have it start up automatically with Windows. You can set like a default TDP that you want. And then you could just adjust it on a game by game basis. Um, it uses the controller buttons. So if you go to home and you click on it and then you can sort of step through the highlighted um, options. And then if you select A, you can you can see it gains focus and you can then adjust the TDP up and down as you like. So depending on which game, you might want to just sort of like throw it up to 25 watts. Um, if if you want to play an indie game, you can just play it, uh, put it at eight watts or even five watts, depending on what you want to do. And it just bypasses the whole user scenario um, setting in the MSI uh, software. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm going to use this now. This is going to be my default way of um, of managing TDP. Ah, one thing I forgot. If we go into settings, I just better show you this. Again, if you you hit A to, to step into here and come down and you can see the default TDP. So you might say, well, actually, I want to play, make sure I'm defaulted to 30 watts at all time and then I can change it. You can, ch you can set the TDP that you prefer. So I'm just going to set it to 20. So... Hopefully this proves useful. I think it just um, makes the claw even more useful. I'm hoping that what will happen is that MSI will add uh, a TDP slider like they had in the old version of the software that we can just set it to any value that we want. But in the meantime, this is a good workaround. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.